Recently, three entities joined forces to kickstart a home building design competition called From the Ground Up. The goal was to create innovative designs for cost-efficient green building concepts and build them in the near west side neighborhood in Syracuse. Well, this particular project has, has brought together an amazing group of individuals from uh, architects and designers from New York City to the School of Architecture to um, Center of Excellence and uh, our own crew and uh, neighborhood involvement. One of those winning designs is from Della Valle Bernheimer from New York City and features a unique building standard called Passive House. It's performance based, it has to have these very high standards, it sounds very intimidating to builders. It's not done with bells and whistles or technology that's going to be potentially outmoded with the next set of bells and whistles five years from now. It's all built with wood frame construction, insulation, you know, standard building materials. The original Passive House concept in Germany was intended to make a very efficient building with minimal extra cost and the idea was we start by making a very efficient, tight shell. And once we make a tight shell, we have to have mechanical ventilation to bring the fresh air in. And we're going to use a special device called the heat recovery ventilator. To heat the house, all we have to do is heat up that little bit of fresh air. We can avoid a furnace and a radiator with a thermostat in every room and all the hot water piping. Technology like this um, is pretty simple. It's reduce energy demand and that's the simplest thing you can do. As soon as you reduce energy demand, you're cutting all the capital cost of the HVAC system and everything else that is more expensive. So it's easy and it's, and it's a one-time opportunity. This is the first passive house that we've been involved with. It's not too much different than conventional framing. It's all about the air sealing and you know, getting it as airtight as we can. Developed in Germany in the 1980s, the Passive House standard has been widely used throughout Europe, yet now only a few buildings in the U.S. feature it. One of those buildings is being built right here in central New York. So we, we didn't just sit down and come up with a kooky shape um, and said, that's beautiful. We actually, you know, when we're working, we went through many, many iterations um, and we were all, as designers, surprised by this shape. It starts as a rectangle, and then the, the corners cut off, and the roof uh, ridge, instead of going from center to center of each wall, it goes from corner to corner. So those features, on the one hand, they make the form more compact, but they also make it really hard to build. You'll also notice one of the most prominent features of the house is that they're massive windows on the south facade and that is because uh, we are using those windows to collect the sun's heat and one of the remarkable things about uh, passive houses and energy efficient buildings in general today is that our glazing technology is good enough that the windows collect more heat over the course of the winter than they lose so they actually perform better than the walls one of the passive house standards that has to be sealed uh, very tightly. The lowest reading I've ever had, 91. We're doing a preliminary blower door. So we're checking for infiltration before the insulation is installed. So we're checking to see how well the house is air sealed. Now I can stand here right now and say this is the, the tightest house that I've ever tested. I've been doing this for over a dozen years now. We'll be checking all the duct work, the uh, air infiltration. We'll be um, conducting a health and safety test. So we have uh, a whole range of things that this house still has to uh, accomplish before it can be certified. What I love about this house is it's almost a net zero house. It, it's super, super sustainable. Um, you can heat it with a hair dryer. The passive house construction you've seen throughout this video featured a high-end design created by an architecture firm. You can apply passive house features to your next home improvement project and make your home more energy efficient by installing items such as Energy Star appliances, high efficiency water heaters, high density foam air sealers, R38 insulated roof materials, and double glazed low emissivity windows, just to name a few. And you can learn more about these featured products at the U.S. Department of Energy Builders Challenge program website at buildingamerica.gov challenge.
as well as other websites for more information. I highly recommend uh, checking out the Passive House website, www.passivehouse.us. I recommend checking out Building Science Corporation website. Um, they are probably the best known and most authoritative source for information about energy efficient building in the U.S. that's, that's um, balanced with really good information on durability, cost effectiveness, health, safety, and comfort.